What's special about the Vallée du Jour? My family was one of the very first family to settle in the Vallée du Jour in the middle of the 13th century. The region was poor, difficult climate. They had to specialize into making small objects with a high added value. My name is Olivier Audemars. I'm the great-grandson of one of the two founders of Audemars Piguet. They started from the very beginning to make complicated watches. They took their inspiration from the motion of the moon around the earth and the earth around the sun. Complications and grand complications have been central to Audemars Piguet even since before the company was founded. There had already been this history here in the Valley des Joux, the history of focusing on complications that went above and beyond what was imaginable. We have selected for you today the most important, relevant, and uh, valuable watches of the Audemars Piguet collection. The production of this watch started in the 1880s. This is the oldest Grand Complication pocket watch we own. And it's a very good example of what we did at that time. Our archives begin in 1882, and they're uninterrupted since. And we see in that first decade, those first two decades, that the emphasis was clearly on complications. This is an example of a minute repeater from 19. 45. Extraordinary in terms of design. And look at the lux with the angles. I mean, this is a masterpiece. We've been able to confirm through the archives that every Audemars Piguet creation was unique prior to 1951. We introduced model numbers or reference numbers in 1951, but even after that, you're going to see variation within series. Because again, these were being crafted this was not industrial processes. This perpetual calendar, one of the most beautiful watch in our collection. Imagine the dial maker who engraved every letter of the 48 months. This kind of skills, this is just incredible. When the emphasis is on the human being, when the emphasis is on hands, this is where imperfection rises. And this is where all those subtle details start to come into play. The red line at Audemars Piguet, what cuts through the history of the company past, present, and moving forward, it's not always visible in the product, but it's visible in the people. The people is what connects this. This is the result of being a family-run business. We're literally in the hands of the Audemars and the Piguet families. When the two founders of the company decided to establish uh, Audemars Piguet in 1875, they wanted to continue to make beautiful watches, watches that were made by human beings, not by machines. They thought that by Working together, they would increase the chances for this tradition to continue. And for us, that's something that is very important because that's what we want to continue to do. We want to continue to make beautiful watches, watches that provide people with a job that make them proud of what they are doing. And on the other hand, we want to make watches that make people who are wearing them happy to have them on the wrist. We're all curators. We're all just temporary stewards of this business. Right now, it's our time. We have to make sure we do a great job so the generation that comes next is inheriting something that, with everything preserved, with the respect for the past, but also with the vision of what's coming next down the road. <laughs>